Well, hi everybody, it's the day that we've all been waiting for. Yes, it's a back in the air day. Well, at least for those of us who can fly solo. Um, for the rest of us, it's going to be the 12th of April. But do you know what the weather looks like? It's actually going to be playing ball. And I know many of you have been spotting the weather windows, especially if you've been to Aviation Weather School. And I'm currently booking my next Aviation Weather School Part 1 on the Saturday mornings of the 15th and the 22nd of May. So if you want to be able to spot weather windows yourself up to five days in advance, be able to build your confidence in the forecasts that you see and enhance your flight safety knowing that you can fly to a destination and get back without the forecast um, going wrong or the weather changing significantly from what the forecast is aviation weather school is for you go to weatherschool.co.uk now and book your place on that course be great to see you there okay then this is how things look for the rest of this week higher pressure is building in it's as if the weather knew we were going to be back in the air of course it's not all straightforward it will be breezy at times there's going to be bits of cloud floating around and some weak fronts especially early on this week but generally some decent flying conditions to be found now on a thursday or a friday i do send out my uh, free weekend forecast email this is just a plain text forecast no spam no rubbish um it's sent every thursday or friday and to get it just send a blank email to aviation weather hyphen subscribe at weatherweb.net it's been going on for over 20 years now uh, and i think it's appreciated by pilots just a brief forecast for flying at the weekend and it's completely free of charge okay then this is how things look this afternoon then for those of you uh, planning to fly this afternoon probably a bit windy still across northern england we've got some cloud we've got some outbreaks of rain associated with this front through scotland through northern ireland southern areas though improving dramatically winds easing through this afternoon it looks like becoming very pleasant indeed for tomorrow as well looking pretty good got this front coming down to scotland non vfr here base is about 2,000 feet tops on that about 12,000 feet watch for some embedded cunim along the um, front itself but elsewhere looking pretty good i think base is 4,000 feet tops about 8,000 feet just need to watch out for a little bit of low cloud just affecting western and southern coast at times but generally for many of us it looks like being a fair day now by wednesday that front has slipped its way through scotland into northern and western ireland um it's marginal along it just because of um, bits of a low cloud base is about a thousand to two thousand feet tops at ten thousand feet north of it um, marginally in northern and eastern scotland but okay for western scotland elsewhere it looks like being a pretty fair afternoon um, and probably late morning as well base is about three to five thousand feet tops at about seven to ten thousand feet so not a bad day at all on wednesday then we see a bit of a change in flow pattern as we get in towards Thursday. High pressure centred off towards the west. A strong easterly flow across southern areas. I think generally I'm going to say it's still going to be flyable. But that wind probably making it quite scrappy. Uh, 3,000 foot bases tops at about 8,000 feet. Much lighter wind Scotland and northern England. Here bases 4,000 feet tops at 8,000 feet. Now with that easterly we need to watch for some low cloud drifting onto those eastern coasts um, and maybe a little bit but I think for Friday generally for most of us it is going to be a fair day. I think good flying conditions basis 4,000 feet tops at 8,000 feet. Like I say those eastern coasts could slip marginal at times but at the moment I've got to say very uncertain as to exactly what those cloud bases are so generally I think most areas flyable into saturday and again high pressure is in control again so what do you know it's flyable conditions generally basis 3000 feet tops at about 10000 feet and then for sunday even that looks like it's going to be okay we're flyable again got a northwesterly flow we've got bases of about 3000 feet tops at about 8000 feet but generally pretty good conditions now i don't know about you but um, i don't think that's bad really for getting back to flying um for those of us looking to fly on the 12th of april um just a heads up conditions don't look quite as settled but i'll keep you updated on that um in the flyer live session at 7 30 with the flyer team on thursday evening i'll have more information about that for you there and i'll update through weatherweb.net as well
So all in all, it's not bad, is it? Um, OK, I'll leave you with that for now. Don't forget, if you've not been yet to Aviation Weather School Part 1, book your place now. There's only a few places left on this course on the Saturday mornings of the 15th and the 22nd of May. It means you can do the course in the morning. You can fly in the afternoon. Um, you'll love it. It's really interactive, presented live by me. And um, we have a good time. We, I, I show you whether the way it should have been taught to you when you did your PPL. It's as simple as that. You will finally understand weather and be able to maximise your flight time um, by maximising the information that you're looking at. Go to weatherschool.co.uk now and you can book your place. OK, I'll leave you with that for now. Whatever you do, thanks again for watching. Have a great time if you're able to get back in the air. Fly safely and uh, keep the sun shining and bye for now.